All right, stop what you're doing. Seriously, what if I told you that one of the most significant supply shocks in crypto is happening right now, completely under the radar? We're not talking about Bitcoin halving. We're not talking about some meme coin burn. This is something entirely different, baked into the core of a project that's quietly building the future of the internet. Let's send it. Most people have no idea this is even happening, but you, you're about to find out why the math points to an absolutely explosive move for one specific crypto. And trust me, you're going to want to hear about this. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Domenico. Look, I know there's a lot of noise out there, but there's a new Ethereum killer every week a new meme coin promising 1000x, it's exhausting. I get it, I understand. That's why today we're cutting through all that noise and we're going to talk about something real, something based on fundamentals and pure undeniable mathematics. And today we're talking about the internet computer or ICP, or better known as the world computer. Now, hold on before you say, oh yeah, I've heard of that. I need you to forget everything you think you know, because today we're not just talking about tech, which is obviously mind blowing, by the way, we're talking about the actual tokenomics and specifically a hidden scarcity factor that almost nobody is paying attention to. Because this isn't just another investment thesis, this is a ticking clock. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss what's coming next on this channel. So let's set the stage. The crypto market is a crazy place, right? It's driven by hype, narratives, and a lot of big promises. But what if the biggest story was one that isn't being shouted from the rooftops? Think about the most successful projects. What do they have in common? Real believers. People who aren't just in them for just a quick flip. They're in it for the long haul for the technology, for the actual revolution they're bringing and they're going to bring in the future. That's exactly what's happening quite in the background on the internet computer ecosystem. While everyone else is chasing the next shiny object, a massive chunk of the ICP community has been doing something different. They have been locking up their tokens. And when I say by locking up, as you can see, I'm not talking about a 30 day staking contract. I'm talking about locking them away for years, one year, five years, even up to eight years. These people, they aren't traders. They are the true believers like myself who have chosen to participate in the governance of the network to have a say in its future in exchange for rewards. They've effectively taken the tokens off the market and they're not for sale at any price. This isn't a temporary marketing gimmick. It's a fundamental feature of the network's design. Okay, let's get into the numbers because this is where it gets absolutely insane. There are roughly 540 million ICP tokens in total. Now, pay close attention. Out of that 540 million, about 240 million are currently locked in what's called the network nervous system or NNS. Think of it as the brain of the instant computer where token holders vote on the future of the platform. Do you see what that means? Almost half of the entire supply is frozen. It cannot be sold. It cannot be traded. It cannot be dumped on the market for up to eight years. So the real liquid supply it's only around 300 million tokens, but wait, it gets even crazier. A huge portion of that remaining supply isn't just sitting on exchanges waiting to be sold. It's being used by developers to power the dApps, hold in DAO treasuries for projects, or sitting in a wallet of long-term holders who have no intention of selling anytime soon. So what we have left? With this is a tiny fraction of the total supply actually being traded day to day on exchanges like Coinbase and Binance. 
It's like a game of musical chairs, where the same few tokens are just being passed around. So what this does, it creates a coiled spring, an economic powder keg. On one side, you have supply that is shrinking by the day as more people wake up and stake their ICP for those sweet rewards. And on the other side, you have demand. So what happens when demand starts to grow? And trust me, it is growing rapidly. We're seeing an explosion of development on the internet computer. We're talking about on-chain AI, decentralized social media that can actually scale and DeFi protocols that run 100% on-chain. No AWS servers, no centralized points of failures. This is a stuff we were promised crypto would be. And this is what the wall computer, internet computer is delivering. And this creates what I call the scarcity flywheel. And it looks like this. Rural utility drives demand. As these amazing new dApps launch with Caffeine AI, they are only going to go parabolic to the right as everyone can be a developer with natural language, more users, more developers. What happens with a network? Demand goes up. Price starts to rise. Basic economics 101. When demand for a scarce asset increases, the price has to move up and staking becomes more attractive. As the price rises, the rewards for staking ICP becomes even more valuable. So what do people do? They lock up more ICP to chase those returns. Supply shrinks even further. So this new staking takes even more liquid tokens off the market. And the available supply and exchange, what happens? They dwindle. And then the flywheel just spins faster and faster. Low supply leads to a higher price, which leads to more staking, which leads to an even lower supply. So what do you think happens when a major institution decides they want a piece of the real decentralized cloud infrastructure? What happens when retail investors finally catch on? They'll go to the exchanges to buy. There'll be hardly anything left. The exchanges just can't print more ICP. They'll have a flood of buy orders competing for a puddle of available tokens. So this is the turning point, people. This is the moment where all looking for in crypto, when the fundamentals, the conviction, and the math all synchronizedly align. Most people holding ICP aren't here for a quick buck. I'm definitely not. They understand the technology. They know this is the only blockchain that can truly replace the traditional monopolized internet tech stack. I am a professional trader. I can find quicker opportunities in other places, but I know asymmetrically over the medium longer term, this is the best opportunity out there. Not financial advice, do your research because this isn't a belief. It's a technical reality. So imagine that moment when the narrative shifts, the headlines start appearing. Crypto project with half its supply locked sees surge in demand. Institutional research papers start talking about the ICP inevitable supply squeeze. The price discovery won't be slow, steady climb. It'll be vertical. It'll be face melting rally that will leave everyone who ignored the signs wondering what the fuck just happened? This isn't just a possibility. When you have this level of scarcity colliding with this level of long-term conviction, it's a mathematical inevitability. And before you jump in the comments saying, but what about market crashes? Of course, nothing is guaranteed. But the holders who have locked their tokens for eight years aren't panic selling. They literally can't. They're immune to the market fad. They are the market's shock absorbers. Look, the writing's on the wall. The internet computer isn't just a crypto. It's a fundamental re-architecture of the internet and decentralized cloud itself. It's built for the long term. And its tokenomics reflect that. You know, It is built for the quantum future. Its scarcity isn't just a buzzword here. It's a fact coded into the system. Half the supply is locked. The holders are believers, not sellers. Real world 
Changing technology is driving demand. The supply shock isn't coming. It's already here as we speak. It's just building silently beneath the surface. And when it fully erupts, it's going to be absolutely explosive. So this is your wake up call in all of this. Do your own research, of course. Look at the numbers for yourself. Don't just take my word for it, but do not ignore this. If you got any value from this video, do me a huge favor and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because I'm going to cover a lot of things in the ICP ecosystem. And trust me, you don't want to miss my updated videos. And if you appreciate the content and want to make a contribution to the channel, the links are in the description. And let me know in the comments below, have you looked into ICP staking model? What do you think about this supply dynamic? Until next time, stay smart, stay ahead of the curve, but more importantly, stay decentralized. And I'll see you on the internet computer. Peace out.